You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? CVS decides they're going to lock up their food and drinks. Let's check it out. Currently at the CVS on Geary and Taylor. And um, I'm trying to get some food, but they got everything locked up. This is absolutely wrong. Currently at the. Number one, why would you ever grocery shop at a CVS? You already know their prices are sky high. I've been to Walgreens, CVS's, and I've been to, obviously, I've been to grocery stores, Kroger's, Walmart, Albertsons, for you people, City Market, for other people who live in different areas, and stuff like that, right? I have never seen the prices be lower at a CVS. And the reason I mentioned Walgreens is because that same thing's happening in Walgreens. This is all happening in San Francisco, by the way. And the reason I believe this is happening is obviously because people are stealing. Uh, it is not, um, it is pretty common knowledge if you look into this stuff that the crime is pretty high out there in San Francisco and pretty high in California. And then obviously it's always high in low poverty areas. Um, but San Francisco has been having a lot of issues with uh, break-ins and stealings. And so this is the way to do it. Now, some people say that, you know, this would be a lot of work. And this, I thought the same thing. This be a lot of work if you're an employee, right? You have to go and lock everything and, you know, you might get smacked in the face if somebody's waiting to steal. But to me, it's going to keep criminals from stealing. Like, it's going to prevent that because you're, you're going to go through a lot of work to not only get them up there, get the get them to unlock the door and then assault them. Either that or you got to get the food, get them to unlock it, and they probably take it up front for you. You probably can't even grab the food. But let's say you get to grab the food and still walk around. Now you got to walk around and then take off towards the door after they looked you right in your face and heard your voice and got a good look at you? Mm -mm. Do I have a problem with this? No. You know, if you don't like it, shop somewhere else. You know, if it's a, such a big deal that you don't want to have to go get your food out of the thing and have it open for you, then just shop somewhere else. But people, it's either that or y'all going to lose a CVS because companies aren't going to keep losing money. Y'all are crazy if they think they're just going to let y'all keep stealing. The, the only thing that's going to happen is like what happened in Chicago with the Walmarts. They'll just rip them stores up and be like, all right, we're gone. <laughs> you won't have no CVS. You won't have no groceries. Don't, people will start moving stores out and you'll have your local store market. And then what's that local store market going to be able to do? People just ripping them off and stealing everything like People, you can't keep stealing and then expect people to just sit by idly and just let it happen. These big companies are not in the business of losing money, no matter what. Okay, so you better get it together over there, over there in San Francisco, or you'll have nothing in the end. But I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section. I'm out of here. Goodbye.